What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here, out with my older car, and here is the molding here, and it's peeling away, pulling away from the body. I'm gonna show you how to fix this. So here's a close look at it, and this is pretty typical on older dried out molding, especially when they've been in the sun or the cold. And you can see here, it's just pulled away. This would have been all glued down. You can see where the old glue is right there. Gonna block my light. Now it seems to be glued here pretty well, right up to about here. So I have about a foot long section that it's pulled away from. And this isn't gonna be good because first of all, it's not even really lined up. And when the door closes on this, it's gonna leave an opening here, right? And water comes down this channel here uh, and can go right into the car. So you really need to glue this up. Now to do that, I bought this product. It's by 3M. It's actually black super weather strip and gasket adhesive. And it comes in a little toothpaste like tube. There we go. And so we get the adhesive in here. And using this is uh, a little bit counterintuitive. Actually, what I've seen here is that you want to use this a little sparingly. So uh, normally I'm a man of the philosophy if some is good, more is better. But in this case, you really want to use this quite sparingly because you don't need a lot and it's going to dry quicker and uh, kind of be less obvious and kind of not create a lot of buildup here to push that gasketing out if you use a really slim amount. Now, so to get this done, I also brought a nice tool, which I found, which is a disposable piece of uh, flatware. I'm going to apply it on the door jam itself and then respectively on the inside of the gasketing material here. All right, so to use this, I'm gonna take off the top here. Looks like it has a little nozzle, so it's ready to go. Now you can actually use this tiny nozzle to draw a little line. And I might actually do that because I can kind of pull the, the gasketing away here. I might just put it directly on there. And you just need a little bead, very light bead. And what I'm going to do here is as much as possible, I'm going to use the nozzle itself to spread it around. Um, I'm going to try to, not really even squeezing it out at this point, I'm just kind of moving that bead back and forth. Because I want as much real estate, much as much grippiness as I can, as much real estate covered by the gasketing material or the adhesive as much as possible. Now you can see I probably have a half inch wide base there. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to put a little bit on the back side of the weather stripping here. And again, man, this is actually runnier than I thought. I thought it'd be a little more like, it's actually runnier than Elmer's glue, to be honest. And again, I'm using the nozzle here so I may not even have to use my trusty tool to kind of spread it out and get a little more real estate on it. Okay, see, I'm kind of getting the, the threads here. So I'm gonna cap this sucker off. All right, so what I wanna show you here is actually I dabbed it up where it was drying or I got it in places I didn't want and it's already getting tacky. Uh, you know, it's about 65 degrees in the room I'm at. So now that it's a little tacky, what I'm gonna do here is kind of push them together. So I wanted them to air dry just a little bit because otherwise, if they're fully wet, they just kind of will peel away from each other. And I'll tell you what, like I said, I mean, I may be 60 seconds after applying this and it is almost glue-like, man. <laughs> that is crazy. So I just kind of want to get all these pieces in here. There's a little bit of a, a curve. So the molding is kind of trying to pull away at this point you know, kind of where it's kind of bowed in here a little bit. But I tell you what, that 60, 90 seconds of dry time is making all the difference because I'm pushing it in there and it seems to be holding that shape. I was really worried that it would just pop right back out. But that's great. And I think this is the strategy is you want to apply it where you want that adhesive and give it a little time to get near dry. And that way, when you press these two together, they just hold in place. That's great. Wow, that sure was easy. So if you have an older car with the moldings pulling away, save them, man, and then also condition them. I'll show you how to do that in another video because you don't wanna have to find, 
find these and replace them if you don't have to because they can be really hard to find, especially in older cars. Check it out. I'll put a link to this adhesive, a 3M black super weather strip and gasket adhesive in the description below. Peter Baumpanda, out.